Welcome to the game room. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We are working on Horror Pack B. There's six models in that pack, and we're going to start with Pamela Voorhees. And as you can tell, the cameras are kind of in a different position, but hopefully things work out. Uh, well, let's get started with uh, Pam Voorhees. All right, so a um, number of places, of course, she always got in her shoes, pants, her sweater, skin, hair, and the knife. Really, there's not a whole lot to her, a lot of different colors, but we're going to go ahead and start with... Uh, our sweater, which is, we're using Void Shield Blue for that, so that's a army painter, Void Shield Blue. This is a very, very light blue, and then we're going to give it a, a wash a little bit to get those lines in there. go ahead and finish off the sweater and uh, we'll be back with the next color. Alright, and with the sweater done, our next color is going to be uh, her pants, which we're going to do in the contrast ultramarines. So remember, give this one a really good shake to make sure it's uh, mixed up well. This is the first time you're watching one of these videos, you'll know that uh, I use contrast paints. Okay, well, let me rephrase that. If this is the first time you're watching one of these videos, you won't know that. But I do use contrast paints a lot. I really like them. You can get stuff painted very quickly, and it looks pretty good without, uh, without a ton of work. You don't have to put a ton of time into them. And, uh, you put all the time you want into them, but if you're like me, where you have enough models unpainted that you're basically going to live forever, then uh, yeah, contrast paints will help kind of get that under control. So if you watch the other videos uh, in the uh, Don't Look Back series, you'll see that I've used contrast paints. Not exclusively, but pretty close. That an army painter. And, uh, I like the army painter stuff. I have tons of army painter paints and contrast. That's pretty much what I use for the most part. Some Vallejos here and there, but uh, I tend to have army painter and, uh, contrast. So I use it just like that. Their pants are done. Okay, here goes the brush, and uh, be right back. All right, and for her skin, we're going to start with uh, tanned flesh, and then we'll do a highlight with barbarian flesh, and we'll come back later and we'll wash it with the flesh wash. Okay, but to start with, we'll do our tanned flesh. Now, she does not have a whole lot of flesh showing. It's mainly going to be her hands and her face. So this one will take very long. All right, and with the tanned flesh, now we're going to go back and do the barbarian flesh. And for this, we really just want to hit the high points where the light would hit. So I'm not going to do like underneath her hand, but we'll do 
very lightly on top of her hand, and just kind of just drag it across, leave the ridges. When we do the wash later, it will really make this look good. I'm not really sure how to do this model. The hand's a little deep end, but oh well. We'll go with it. And for a little bit of the handle of the knife, you can see we're going to use contrast to bite the leather. And I think there's very little of the handle of the knife that you can see. So. Okay, uh, for her hair, I uh, thought we'd try the I am in yellow, which is kind of an orangish yellow, which kind of matched the pictures uh, of her hair. So, we'll go with that. Most of the pictures that I could find are, were very dark. So, these contrast paints really show what they can do on hair, fur, things like that, where it'll sit down in the crevices, it'll, it'll paint the whole thing, but it sits down in those recesses, and makes those darker, and kind of gives you the natural highlights of the hair being hit by the light. Not too much, you don't want it to run all over her face. So the knife blade, gun metal. You can use any metal you want. All right, two more steps we need to do the flesh wash on her skin and we need to shade her sweater to make the lines pop out so we'll be right back and we'll do that all right army painters flesh wash and i have way too much on my palette but it's okay and for this you want to get it all over your skin should be underneath it it will just, it'll, it's, it's really amazing because it'll pull the darker and the lighter, the barbarian flesh, the tanned flesh, it pulls those together really well. Shades and highlights, gets down on the crevices.
Alright, last step, we need to do a wash on the sweater. Okay, so for the wash, I think I'm going to go, I looked at a couple of different things. I think I'm going to go with the blue tone for Army Painter. Um, the Drakenhof Nightshade, if you have the Citadel, would work too, but it's a little bit darker. Um, but either way, uh, I'm going to lighten it up anyway. So uh, I have about three drops there, which again is way too much. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to probably thin it down with about uh, I'm get the drops to hit. three or four drops of water. Um, just to, I don't want to lose too much of the light blue. Oh, yeah, I got way too much here. Well, what do you do? Um, I don't want to lose too much of the light blue. So we're going to try this and see if it screws it all up or not. We live and learn. Okay. So, nice. You want to just get it all over her sweater. And you really want it to show off those. It, it, I mean, it gives depth to it, and you really want to show off all the, the lines and the detail of the sweater. I mean, because in reality, if you're looking at a piece of clothing, you're not just going to see, you know, a solid color. You see the the bends and the crevices, and that gives you, you know, that depth. Yeah. That gives you that depth. And detail. I mean, it, and it just it looks cool. It just looks really cool. All right, we're going to let that dry and get on our base and come back and finish up. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, managed to keep the light blue color working up the resources. And there you can really see the sweater. I like it. That's good. All right, let's go. I'm going to show it to you. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's get her on a let's Let this dry. We'll get her on a base, and we'll be back to wrap up. All right, there she is, uh, based and uh, done. So, again, doesn't take a long time to then actually, filming wise, right at 15, but including drying times and when I painted the sweater that you weren't watching, I mean, total time painting was probably about 18 minutes and, um, you know, drying time was probably longer than the actual painting time because she did take a while to dry. Um, mainly because of her pants and then the washes. But other than that, there you go. Pamela Voorhees complete. And, uh, based and done. Okay, so you can see it doesn't take a ton of time to get your models to a, a good tabletop standard. You're not going to win any awards with this, uh, but that's not the point. We're trying to catch up on our backlog of, you know, thousands of models that you have that you're trying to get done. Or you just want to get them done so that they look good on the table from three feet away. Um, that's what we're going for. Um, so anyway, I hope this helped. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, have a great evening. Thanks for watching.